Hi everyone and welcome back to some more War of the Chosen. So, I actually loaded the autosave after the mission to not sell the corpses. Everything else is literally exactly the same, except I didn't sell the trooper corpses. And I already started the covert action. I am going to reduce Avatar project progress. And we'll get plus one health on Ambrosine from it, which is quite nice, because she was a genius or a savant. In any case, she's one of our highest combat intelligence soldiers at the moment. And other than that, we need to wait for a new mod. We are still one alloy short. So, yep, let's just scan. There it is. New chosen activity. Lower income. And the other one. Attempt to sabotage the Avenger. Alright. I don't like that too much. What about the dark events? I think we should reveal the hidden event. These two aren't too bad. Okay, that one isn't really bad either. We'll probably decide based on the rewards. Us, so, what do we want here? I'm leaning towards getting private channel. Because that's actually quite nice. Yeah, let's get that one. We are obviously keeping scavengers, because that's too good to ignore. Alright. Carry on then. There's the supply drop. Let's go to the black market first. Because we need literally one more alloy. Okay, so buy alloys. That will cost us 40 intel, which is fine. Anything else? We can get a lieutenant specialist. 85 intel. It's probably worth it. We still got 225 intel. And we need more high rank soldiers. Okay, let's get that guy. 85 intel. And we'll check him out right away. Hopefully he will have decent combat intelligence. Let's find out. At least we won't run out of specialists anytime soon. Which is a good thing. Gifted. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's see. Medical protocol. Haywire protocol. Field medic. And let's check him out in the training facility. We'll see if he has anything interesting. Dead Eye, Lightning Reflexes, okay, and it's old school Lightning Reflexes. I think I'll take that one. Maybe. Well, we could also grab Combat Protocol. Let's get Combat Protocol, we can always pick up Lightning Reflexes later. Or we could pick it up now if we wanted to spend points from the Shared Pool. But I think I'd rather spend these points for something more important. Like abilities for the hero classes. Anyway, back to scanning. Now we need to get some supplies. Because we need 300. I can always sell things at the black market, but we should pick up the supply drop anyway. Even though it's not a whole lot of supplies. Dangerous enemy detected. Okay, that's going to be another ruler at a facility. I guess we'll just have to deal with that. Alien facility coordinates locked New facility. Command. That's not too bad. It's pretty close to us. South Africa. Only two regions away. Okay. And we got a supply raid. That's not a bad thing. Setting Christian is not back seven. yet, but we don't really need him, I suppose. Europe. But he does have plus 15 MPCS. Alright, first of all, let's upgrade our armor, shall we? There, finally. That will help us a lot. Now, we might have to make a few extra items, but we'll see. First of all, let's get our squad. We still need a captain for squad size 2. I hope we'll get one sometime soon. We already have 5 lieutenants. Anyway, let's check Bones, Elam, 
He's available. All right, let's grab these two guys. He's tired. But we need a strong squad for this mission. We need the supplies. Next up, who else? Oh yeah, Ian and Elena. Definitely a good idea. So that gives us a sharpshooter, grenadier, reaper and specialist. We need one more. We could grab Molly. We could grab Pratal, Mox. We could also get a sharpshooter. Wait, no, we have one. Well, a ranger wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see. I think it should be either a ranger or Mox. So, Molly or Mox. Interesting choice. We could also do it slightly differently. Instead of bringing a tired person, we could get Patrick and Molly. They are bonded. That would give us two specialists. But honestly, I think that's fine. They are pretty good. They are both pretty good. Let's do it like that. We'll level up their bond. Okay, works for me. Now, gear. Make everything available. First of all, I would say two medkits will likely help. They both have medical protocol, as far as I remember. Specialist. Yeah, he has a lot of stuff. There's the bonus for bonds. So he needs to be adjacent to the bondmate. Or well, he doesn't, but he gets an extra bonus when he's adjacent. And they can also cancel negative mental effects by moving next to the bondmate. That's one of the best abilities at tier 2. Anyway, let's see. Weapon upgrade. We do have a hair trigger. I'll keep it to swap the mods. What can we grab? You already have a modded weapon. Repeater and advanced scope. That's fine. I don't think we can upgrade the gremlin yet, can we? I'm pretty sure we can't. At least not yet. No. We can't. Do we want to make anything here? Maybe not yet. Hold on, what can we grab? What? That's some kind of weird bug. Let's go through loadout screen. Yeah, that's better. Mimic beacon for Vincent or battle scanner. Doesn't really make a big difference. I guess mimic beacon is fine. And magnetic cannon with superior stock. That's always nice. Okay. Next up. We got Molly. Let's have a look. We do have a modded shotgun with advanced laser sight. We could also upgrade the sword if we want to. How many alloys do we have left right now? 44. I think that's acceptable then. 15 alloys to get the arc blade. Okay, fine, we'll get the arc blade. That leaves us with almost no supplies. Next up, Patrick, you have the medkit. You can get the flashbang grenade. We should probably bring flashbang grenade to every single mission now. And finally, frag grenade for you. Okay, I think that's all of it. Not much else we can do. Yep, I think that's all of it. Let's go then, shall we? Let's go. This should be a fun mission. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Word is Advent has a resupply operation underway. And it's a perfect opportunity for us to pick up some supplies for ourselves. Once deployed, move to locate the Advent crates and mark them with our transponders. Firebrand will be on standby to airlift the goods. 
Okay, which type of supply mission is it going to be? We'll have to mark crates, alright. Because there are two types of supply raid missions now. The new one and the old one is still there. You can still get the old style supply raid. Right, we probably need to hurry up then. But you can also do it by killing all the enemies before they can take the crates. So that's one way to do it, you can just rush. As in, not rush for the crates, but rush to kill all the enemies on the map. Or you can do both. It's probably going to be a combination of both. Now hopefully we won't have the Chosen in here. But we'll find out after our first turn. So, let's move a little bit closer. And we can keep some people on the high ground. Behind full cover over here. And maybe over here. That leaves us with Ian. Yeah, a lot of these people have fear of Chosen. Hopefully we won't get one in this mission. It's not even about fear of Chosen. I just want to focus on getting the actual supplies, you know? Instead of worry about killing the Chosen. Okay, no Chosen, because he would have showed up right now. Let's see. Let's move a little bit closer still. Okay, another group in the back with a muton. Wait, what's this? Oh yeah, that's one of the new enemies. I forgot what that guy is called exactly. Oh yeah, a specter. Right. We don't want to trigger both these pods at the same time, so how about we move away slightly? And then we can consider setting up an ambush. We'll need to give up the high ground with at least a few people. Okay, Molly can go up here. Actually, no, hold on. Ian should go back here and then Molly in the front. Because, you know, she's the one with the shotgun. Not only that, she has the laser sight. Got it, moving. Off you go. Hopefully they won't actually move away. They weren't patrolling, but they might start doing it. Oh, the other pod is actually coming. Could we maybe hit all of them with a claymore? It has 4x4 four four radius, I think. I need an open area. No, 5x5. Five five. I think we can hit all of them then. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... No, we can't hit Muton and also this guy. But we could hit four enemies, I think. No, we can't. We can hit three at most with the Claymore. We have to hurry up though, because they will start marking the crates. We can't just play passively. We will have to engage somehow. So, what's the best way to do that? Good question. We got an Advent Shield Bearer, a Spectre, Advanced Trooper, Muton, and Sectoid. What about a grenade? No, that won't be any better than a Claymore. It's a tough call, but we really need to do something. And we need to do something now, not later. Claymore might still be the best opener. Yeah, I'm thinking Claymore will still be a good opener regardless. It won't be as good as it could have been. What about the remote start? No, only one target. Let's just use the Claymore. We'll see how that goes. So Claymore... We might be able to kill this entire pod with the claymore, if we combine it with a grenade. It that would be the general idea here. And then, we would only have to deal with the muton and with the sectoid. So, we need to move a little bit closer. 
and unfortunately use partial cover. I don't really have a big choice. I can't stand over here because then we'll get flanked. So that is a poor idea. So let's do this. This will not kill all of them, this won't kill the Spectre. But they will be very low on health. Now, do we want Overwatch on anyone? We do have combat protocol, but it's only 2 damage combat protocol. Might be better to use Overwatch. We can keep Patrick if we want to. For teamwork and combat protocol. We could use teamwork on Molly and take 2 shots with the shard gun. Yep, sounds good to me, let's do that. Alright, make it a good one, Vincent. I'm counting on you. We need that upgraded grenade. Soon. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, let's see, 11 damage on the Spectre. How much health does it have exactly? Like 17? Did we hit it? Now it's still moving, apparently. Well, let's see then. Here comes the other pod. So, best way to do this. We might be able to kill the mutant with Molly. That would be amazing. Okay. I think we should do that. Do we stand here or here? I think I'd rather stand over here. I don't really care about being flanked by a sectoid, but I care about being flanked by that specter. Moving. I'm not entirely sure what all the specter's abilities are. I guess we'll find out. So we got 66, 68% chance to crit. We kind of need that crit. Plus 18% from advanced laser side. Nice, okay, now we can use teamwork, if we want to, or we can use combat protocol. We just need to move. Where do we move? Okay, this is actually a bit of a problem. I think we can do it from here. Maybe not. Well, we can always do something from here, use teamwork. I can't let anything flank me for obvious reasons. This full cover over here seems to be our best option. Alright, let's try that. Can we do it now? No, alright, we'll just use teamwork. It's fine, I need to take down that muton. We can always use combat protocol for something else later. So 87%, I can't really move any closer. And I cannot use slash because he might block that and retaliate. Oh great, we missed. Well, that's not fantastic. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Oh great, there is a Chosen in this mission after all, really? Right. That is unfortunate. That is going to be a problem. I appreciate that. Hi. I think we've met before. Fear of the Chosen. Resisted, good. One more. Resisted. And one more. How close is the camera going to move? Resisted. I wonder what the chance to resist this is. So that mutant might be a problem right now. What is the Spectre doing? Hitting us in the face. What are their abilities? Shadowbound. I have no idea what that means. What? Oh, that spawned a copy. Okay. Oh, hold on, now the Muton can't actually target our soldier, can he? So, in a sense, that was actually a good thing. And we can use combat protocol on the shield bearer. 
Yeah, he can't target our soldier here. He can target other people, obviously. And here comes the Sectoid. This will be an interesting turn. And now we also have the Chosen to deal with. Alright. So, let's think about this. First of all, we definitely need combat protocol. On the shield bearer. Oh wait, we need to get rid of his shield first. Right. We can use revival protocol. Okay. That will give us molly back, I assume. Yep. Nice one. So how exactly are we going to do this? It's not so obvious. How's our chance to hit on the shield bearer? Should be 100 or close. Oh, only sick. Right, he has full cover. We can move. I don't care about losing concealment all that much. We also got some grenades. We need to back up. That much is obvious. Into full cover you go. Now, either a grenade or a mimic beacon. I'm thinking grenade. What if we move Molly away? Can we hit three targets? No, we cannot. Alright then. Molly could slash the shadow and then slash something else. Like a sectoid or the other guy. The shield bearer. It's an option. How about we do that then? So that's one slash. You should see the oh wait, no. She won't get another one, really? I thought she would get another one. I guess I was mistaken about that. This will probably be the best moment to use the Mimic Beacon. Now, what else can we do? <sighs> Come on, Protocol is going to be kind of useless here. Let's kill that Shield Bearer. Yes, we lost concealment, but that's really not important here. Open the door first. So this should be a kill. Unless we miss. He's dead. We should have done that first before slashing that other guy. But too late. Next up. We still got three dudes that we can use. We can definitely kill the Muton. We can do it with combat protocol if we want to. We can also probably kill the Spectre, maybe? Well, possibly. Let's kill the Muton first. We can't just leave him there. Goodbye. And then we got Vincent and Ian. I'm still thinking Mimic Beacon will be the best option for us. Let's kill the Shadow and then I think we'll throw the Mimic Beacon. Or we could just not use it. I don't know what else the Spectres can do. We could just not do anything. However, there's one more enemy in the back, the zombie. Although we don't particularly care about the zombie. You know what, let's just take a shot at the sectoid or something. It does always free damage because we got superior stock. Good enough. So. Yeah, the crates are going to be a problem. I don't think we'll get a whole lot of supplies from this mission. But we'll see. We obviously had no chance to get that one. It was on the other side of the map. Even if we dashed across, it was literally impossible to get there. Which is kind of annoying. You have absolutely no chance to get these two in this situation. Like, even if we dashed with all our moves from the start of this mission, it would still be too far away. Okay, mind control, that's fine. We will deal with that. Here comes the zombie. It will probably hit Elena, but that's fine. They don't do that much damage. 
we'll just heal her. We have two medkits. Now, I'm more worried about the hunter. Let's see, first of all, the sectoid. We need to deal with the sectoid. We can get a flanking shot. So, let's do that first. Might be enough for a kill. Now it's not. Okay. Someone else can finish the job. Now we could do it with combat protocol again. Which is not a terrible idea, really. Yeah, we could do that. Alright, let's just do that. It's there to be used. Not just for show. Goodbye, Sectoid. So now... No idea what we're going to do now. Well, probably move. Okay, let's just move. And conceal ourselves? Oh no, we can't do it right now. Move into cover. And we'll have to dash across. We really don't have a big choice here. We need to hurry up well, if we want to get any supplies. And we obviously do want to get the supplies. That's Ready. kind of the point of this entire mission. It's killing time. Reload. Do I have to do everything myself? Yeah, they are still marking the chests while the hunter is attacking us. That's the most annoying part here. The timer did not stop. As you see, they will get these two. Unless we can grab them. Technically, we can grab them if we utilize teamwork. But there's a very good chance we'll trigger something. And marking a chest breaks concealment, including shadow concealment. So that will not help us. We could, however, use teamwork. To grab one crate. Still, we risk triggering a group. We still got a Mimic Beacon. I don't know, it feels like just a terrible idea. Oh, screw it, we'll do it. Hopefully I'm not going to regret it. So, teamwork. Now we can grab that crate. Hopefully this won't trigger anything. No, it did not. Nice. So that was worth it, probably. It did cost us teamwork, but I think it was worth it. Still, that's just one out of many. Let's see, move out of the way with Molly, and let's dash. Let's go, people. Yeah, Ian is super far away from literally everything. We need to engage that hunter. Like, in direct range. It's really annoying how he can attack us from the other side of the map. And the game seemingly doesn't consider us to be in combat. So the mission timers do not pause. Like they are supposed to. Okay, here's a group. They will see Elena. Hi. Okay, then. That's a priest, a shield bearer and a mech. Tracking shot mark again. Well, we got one. We are marking the crates, Bradford. Okay, now we can conceal if we want to. I think we want to. Alright. Let's move a little bit closer. So. Should we trigger that group or not? Because we don't have to. We could stay just out of the range. I think we should trigger it. Hmm. But we could try to set up just out of the range with Overwatch. And that might work. Assuming they will move towards us. We got a few soldiers super far away, so I'm thinking we should set up an Overwatch trap. Okay, let's do that then. More supplies marked. 
Yeah, I don't think we'll get a whole lot of supplies from this. But I can't go any faster. I can't just rush into an active pod while an advent hunter is attacking me. Stasis. Yeah, I don't care about that. All that much. In a sense, that's actually a good thing, because the other two guys won't attack our wounded soldier. Okay, 5 damage, nice. That was worth it, I would say. So here comes the mech, it missed. And we got the shield bearer still. I think that's a shield bearer. Yup. Now, I don't think we will be able to kill the shield bearer to get rid of the shield. I think we'll have to brute force both the priest and the mech. Oh yeah, we could try Haywire Protocol. Not only that, we got Haywire Protocol on two different specialists. What's over there? That's interesting. Hey, that would be amazing. If we could actually take over the mech. What's our chance? Yeah, too low. Temporarily disable. I don't think it's worth it. Let's see what else we can do first. We do have a grenade, which means we could destroy cover for that priest over there. Oh yeah, we are just out of range. Well, alright. We still got combat protocol. If it wasn't for that shield, we could kill the mech with combat protocol. It's very unfortunate. We need to move Molly. What the heck do we do here? We could try to kill the shield bearer, but he has a shield, he has four armor. It's not going to happen, let's be real. I'm thinking it's best to either take a shot with a shotgun or throw a grenade. We got 27% chance to crit. And we can do up to 8 damage. Alright, let's go for it. Oh, we didn't even hit. Seriously now? Not good. What the heck? No, not good. Okay, I'm not happy about that outcome at all. Now, we could mark this chest over here, but we will lose concealment if we do that. I'm just saying. Still, it's an option. It will be gone on the next turn. Fine, let's mark the supplies. And just in case you had any doubts whether we lost concealment or not. Here you have it, you lost concealment. But what the heck do we do? It really sucks that we missed that shotgun shot. I needed that damage badly. Our options are super limited right now. Yeah, they really are, aren't they? We can't remote start anything. At least not anything that's useful for us. Unfortunately. I'm torn about this. We do have a flashbang grenade. Wait, hold on. It is clear. Can we hit more than one target with it? Yes. Maybe? No. I wanted to flashbang both the shield bearer and the priest. We can't actually do it, I don't think so. No. We can't do it. That's unfortunate. I'm just trying, hold on. We can hit both sides, but we have to aim like pixel perfect or some shit. Well, we still can't hit them both, I don't think so. But if we could, that would be the best option. I'm just trying to make sure. Come on, give me both sides. There's like one pixel where you can hit both sides. Seriously? <laughs> Come on. 
come on. It worked for a split second. But I think we're one tile off. On top of the barrels, maybe. Oh, hold on, we can hit both. Okay, let's flashbang both. See? Patience pays off. There, now they are both disoriented. Okay. But what are we going to do still? We could try to stun the mech, but it might fail. I mean, we did just fail, what, a 90% shot with Molly? So, yeah, nothing is guaranteed. But considering we only have two people left, it's not like we have many other better options. Alright, let's try to stun the mech. The only problem is that it's fairly low chance to work. 55% only. Not amazing. Okay, it worked. Good. 28% to take control was way too low. I'm just glad the stun actually worked to begin with. Now, Elena needs to move into safety. Remember, the hunter is still a thing. Now, the priest might be able to flank us, but the priest doesn't do as much damage as the shield bearer. Alright. Come on. We got Vincent back, no more stasis. The priest isn't doing much. He wasn't flanking anyone. Here comes the shield bearer. Overwatch, that's okay. And the tracking shot mark again. The hunter is just going to spam tracking shot mark until we get into his range, I think. That seems to be the case. Alright then. We got six more crates on the map. Where's the closest one? I can't see any around here. There are green indicators around them. Yeah, I don't think there are any in our actual range right now. Probably further in the back. Let's focus on actually killing the enemies, shall we? And then we can try to engage the Chosen to stop the timer. Let's see, Elena needs to move, which is okay. The mech should be our priority target, so how about we open with a grenade? We can hit both the mech and the shield bearer, and we will destroy shield bearer's cover, and we will get rid of Overwatch. Definitely the best move. Here you go. And we will shred the armor on the mech. Now, that shield bearer needs to die. And I would prefer to stay in cover, but at the same time, I would like to have higher chance to hit. We'll just use partial cover. 92% I was hoping for a crit, but oh well. I'm not entirely convinced that we can actually kill that guy on this turn. But we'll do our best. We just need at least one or two creeds. That armor is so annoying. Technically, we could still throw a grenade at him. Which would shred one armor. Maybe we should do that. Alright, fine, let's just shred his armor. We can't just leave him alive. Let's see. We got Patrick, Elena, and that's it. So... Let's see. How did this work exactly? Not that one. Spotter 1. This soldier is granted a bonus to aim when their bondmate has attacked or been attacked by the soldier's target. Okay. So she should get bonus on the shield bearer, right? Was there bondmate again? Oh yeah, that's Ian. Probably not then, because that wasn't a regular shot. We got 100 anyway. Oh yeah, we do have bonus. Yes, yeah, Spotter Alge sends a bonus. Because we are standing next to him. And 
plus 10%. So that's plus 20% total. That's kind of crazy. Alright. We need one more hit. Well, I need more ammunition. no more combat protocol. We will just have to hit him the old-fashioned way. Right. Let's move a little bit closer to get a better chance to hit, shall we? 95. Please don't miss. There we go. He's down. That took a lot to kill him, but... Alright. Disorient removed now. Oh, a Spectre. Wait, what? I thought that Spectre was gone. Right, I guess not. What is he doing? We should kill that thing over there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hi. You come here often? Yep, that is mind control. Yeah, I don't care. He will die on the start of the next turn. Molly can just slash him or whatever. Oh, wasn't the mech supposed to be stunned for two turns, not one? Well, we weren't able to kill him on the previous turn anyway. We'll just take some damage and probably heal it up. We do have a lot of medkits. But first, we need to kill the enemies. There's a lot going on all at the same time right now. First of all, kill that priest. We will get flanked by the spectre no matter what we do. I can't prevent that. So... Let's get cover from the mech at least. This will kill the priest, at least it should. No, one damage short. Seriously, guy? What the heck? Well, that sucked. I kind of really needed that. I guess we'll use a grenade. This feels like a complete waste. Because, spoiler, it is a complete waste. We can kill the mech with combat protocol. Right? Yep. How about we do that then? Okay, let's do that. We'll move towards it in case it drops loot or something like that. So, combat protocol. Goodbye. Now, we got Vincent and Elena. And I would still like to kill that Spectre. We can flank the Spectre. This should be a kill, right? The only part that makes me nervous is standing in the open, but there's nothing that's currently active. As far as I can tell. Yeah, there's nothing that's active right now. Let's check our chances to hit. 86%, right? And Vincent? 92. Alright, please don't fail. There, it's down. And it dropped some loot. Okay, nice. Now kill the priest. 94% Oh, it has stasis. Wait, will that break mind control? It will. I was worried for a moment. Right, let's grab the loot, maybe. Will do. Give me the loot. Alarium core, advanced hair trigger and alien data cache. Yeah, that's a nice haul. Obviously, we won't be getting these crates. We still got a few more. I have to say, I strongly prefer a classic supply raid. This is pretty hard. Especially with a chosen like this. When he keeps marking you and the timer does not suspend. Stay this again. Now what we need to do is heal ourselves up a little bit. We do have quite a few medkits. 
Here's the hunter. Yeah, he will just keep spamming that. All right. Whatever. What's over there? Nothing is over there. Gremlin heal. Let's do some healing. It won't be full health, but it's heck of a lot better than previously. I'm reloading. Reload. Oh yeah, right, we haven't killed that priest. My bad. Don't worry, we will. In fact, Vincent can just do it on his own, because he has stock. So, let's just kill it with stock. I love stock. And now Vincent himself needs a heal. No problem. Shame we only got two crates so far. I don't think we'll get many more. But hey, we'll try. There are still a few more left. For two rounds of pickups. But it's unlikely we'll get them, I'm just saying. Right, where exactly are they? Yeah, that's too far away. I don't think we can get that far. We can't. We use the teamwork already. All right, well, go. let's just move towards the Chosen Hunter. I can't see the other set of Ready crates. It's probably all the way in the back. If I had to guess. Okay, now. I would prefer to not trigger the Chosen too soon. Because rushing the objectives is one thing. Not getting killed or wounded for 50 days is entirely other story. And you saw how long you can be wounded if you end the mission with one health left. 40, 50 days. It's rough. Cool story, bro. Alright. What is he doing? Oh yeah, he's summoning some dudes. Well, this will be a fun encounter. This will almost certainly take a while, too. And we have to be aggressive. Oh great, he's throwing what? A flashbang, I think. Four turns! Seriously? Or four actions, which means two turns. Hey, we can actually take advantage of our thing now, I think. Wait, no, we can't because... These are the bonded people. Yep. Okay, never mind. So, how do we do this? A grenade would be nice. We will have to shred that hunter a little bit. Yeah, let's just throw a single grenade. We have to shred all his armor. That's one. Oh, one more crate. Right, we can reach this one. Maybe. Well... Kind of late for that. But we could grab it. We can grab both of these. It really shouldn't be our priority. No, it shouldn't be. Endless. But it's tempting. Okay, let's do some damage. This will shred all the armor on the Chosen. Nice one. And we can get a flanking shot. Yeah, I think I'd rather get a shot on the Chosen than pick up that crate. Patrick is the only person who can still do it. Yeah, I'd rather just take a shot at the Chosen. We got 87%. That's just vastly superior. And 40% chance to crit. Let's go for it. And remember, he will... Oh, we executed him. What? Seriously? <laughs> 
Well, someone was asking in my comments if you can execute Chosen. There you got the answer. You can. <laughs> we did it for science. No, he definitely wasn't expecting this. I can tell you as much. All right, let's kill that guy. That was an unexpected turn of events, I have to say. Let's see. Oh, and we got more loot. What should we do now? Is anyone heavily wounded? We could heal. Yeah, let's just play it safe and heal. How much health is this? Eh, it's enough. We will not kill that guy. We got 0% chance to crit. So it literally cannot happen. Let's just heal. It's a more productive use of our turn. Alright. I think we can get one more set of crates. Because this should be the last enemy on the map. We don't actually have to physically pick them up. Which means we will get what? Four total? It's not amazing, but... It's not terrible. Oh, a grenade. That doesn't do that much damage. Doesn't really matter. When there are no other enemies to take advantage of it. So, we'll just slash this guy or something. Can we do that? Yep. And then shoot him in the face. Oh, he's stunned. Nice. Not that it really matters. Uh, Vincent with his stock can get the kill. And that should be a kill. That should finish the mission. I think. Yep, we are done. Plus 5 ability points for XCOM. Good job. 13 out of 13 killed. Let's take a mission photo. If anything, I fear we are making it easier for them to catalog. And let's people. see. How many supplies, alloys and allergium we got out of this? I'm curious to see. Any amount will be useful. I'm hoping at least 20, 30. As in materials. And we got a promotion. Let's have a look. Silent killer. Kills with the vector rifle do not increase the Reaper's chance to break out of shadow, okay? Destruction. A kill with the Claymore puts the Reaper into shadow. And we also have Needle. Shots taken in shadow have plus two armor piercing. That's a pretty tough choice. We could grab both Silent Killer and Needle. That is very tempting. That would actually be pretty nice. I think that's what we'll do, but I'm going to think about it. She's wounded for a bit anyway, so... Only six days. Alright. We got... Let's see what we got. 96 supplies, 36 alerium, 18 alerium crystals. That's not bad. We also got Agility PCS, Advanced Laser Sight, Scope, Elarium Core, Advanced Hair Trigger and Alien Data Cache. That's a pretty good outcome. Alright then, so that's going to be the end of this mission. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.